All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. The deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Oh, you got this one's gone. You and me. Come on, me, come on! Yeah, I'll pay Time to rest. Yeah. All right, mate. You're done for. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jeez. Hey there, big fella. I got him. Quick, hit him. Not bad idea, Gregor. Damn it. Get him. second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Gonna need a plunger. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. We can get out the back. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! Ugh. Ready to go, kid? Yeah. Let's go. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. Come here, come here. 
Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. You've had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protégé, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <sighs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? One of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. Wait, here it is.
Te agarré, ratita callejera. Suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Y quédate afuera. Pendejo. If I do. Vete de aquí, limonero. It was rotten anyway. Ah, oh, now where did he go? Nope, not that way. Where is he going? Stairs. Oh, damn, it's locked. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. doing in there? I need to get a better look. I don't want to rush it now, but yeah. I'm going to move it along. Aquí lo tiene. Ah, that's 
a ticket. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Into that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. Find a way to get that wallet. Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. It seems we have some time to kill. Crap! 
listen to me, viejo. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged Taurus is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? There it is. Ah, oh, that was close.
Whoa. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop the boy! Holy crap! Just stop it! Stop the boy! Holy crap! He has the ring! Break the door down! Oh god! He's heading for the roof! Chain! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Shit! Oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? Whoops. 
you all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This should be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so... Like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway... I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So, it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent. 
But you got a lot to learn. You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. <laughs> and they're gone. All right, lads. <laughs> oh, God. Bet you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. <laughs> All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. Blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. The wall's too high. Yeah, let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your heads, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Is 
Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust.
Hey, over here. Look at this. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Come on, you're supposed to be the smart one. What are we missing? Hey, check this out. Kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, back there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um... Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. Should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. all right, just keep moving. Where the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? What's that? I see them! You really like cutting it close, don't you? What the hell was that all about?
tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Is a long way down. <laughs> Careful, it's slippery. There's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed, though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Look out. Here it comes. Well done, mate. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. You cut her a little help here. Sure, I gotcha. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. Huh? <sighs> 
There's the tunnel again. That's too far to drop there. We'll break our damn necks. Crap, it's a dead end. Down here. How are we headed now? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate. But whoever they are, they are seriously weird. <laughs> Look at the ironwork. Why, well, it's gotta be Victorian, maybe older. This stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving there. <laughs> One of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess so. <laughs> ah, crap. I'll meet you on the other side. What the hell is this place? Thanks for having our back. There's Marlowe's car. All right. From here on, no more guns.
Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey, you got us all wrong, man. Yeah, we're from Cleveland. Oh, well done, mate. That a boy. What kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. What? This place is really starting to give me the creeps. Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Hey, over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. 
I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. This is quite the operation they got going here. stuff. Ew. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L. O. H. D. N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. Sh no shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right arsehole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. 
could be at Buckland Abbey for all we know. There it is. I found it. Where? Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. Trap! They're here! Take cover!
There's a ladder. Come on, hurry up! Where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station. Come on! Can you read me? We're coming out the old North Atwood station. There's no time to explain. We've got company.
attacked! Wait! Are you gonna shoot the lock or am I? Back up, back up! Come on, come on! Go, 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 go! Come on! Get in! Go, go! And the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see? Look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D. who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dean and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel-Kali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlow is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubel-Kali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just, it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian's script. Sabian's script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Wow. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Into the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> 
Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Is that a pan flute? This way. Watch your step. Whew. I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? It doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. Looks more like Renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Oh, this looks sketchy. Hmm. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn.
Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. The knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're gonna find him. No good? Not getting in this way. I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess. You're gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right, don't burn the place down. About that window above you. I don't want to cut myself. Be right back. I'll be waiting. Chef. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. You good? Okay. We're gonna make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. We gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? We can try. Hey, 
Help me lift this up. Do it. Be careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I gotta find a way across. I have an idea. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. Right down. Is that a popcorn machine? Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Hey, Nate. Square tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks.
Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Come on. We got it. Watch it! Oh, thanks. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kinda on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Something weird about these suits of armor. Come here, check it out. Nate, it looks like these statues will turn. Bases rotate. Interesting. Let me check. Yeah. Here, see? Four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Maybe we gotta turn each knight so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? Gotta hand it to you, Sully. Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. Nate? Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. Be careful down there. Right. Hope there is another side.
hell's that noise? I should be able to get through here. Good sign. Should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Oh, oh crap. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. He's here!
Thanks for the gift, boys.
Nice. See that coming. Eight to here. Damn army!
Up this way. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. Way now. I'm not really sure. Why don't we try going down? Hey, look at this. What the hell? It's one of Talbot's men. It was? It's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. Tiles. Sabean script. Yeah. Doesn't say anything, though. It's just nonsense. Anything about it in your notes? Yeah, I think so. Seems to be an order to the symbols. The pattern you have to follow. This tile here is different from the others. Must be some kind of marker. Hey, the tile's depressed when you step on them. I'll stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. Good idea. Pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Sure. Oh, looks like some sort of ladder, doesn't it? Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. Hmm. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. To be in script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nakian script.
Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah, or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. Right. Help me push. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Not you. John D. Oh. Well, you're crafty too. And old. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Much better. You know, one of these days you're really gonna have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? <laughs> Whoa. Looks like they really wanted to keep something out. We're in. Here, give me a hand with this. I got it. There you go. Looks like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. Let's see. It looks like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. What is this? A medieval game show? <laughs> Pretty elaborate. Yeah. Anything? He doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts. No. Now they would have hidden his tomb. Keep looking around.
Look how the light from your torch is reflecting on the floor there. Hey, the symbol changes depending on where you stand.
Wait, I get it. The symbols on the floor show the four symbols that are supposed to surround the emblem on the wall there. Huh? Look, you just move the emblem so it's in the middle of the four symbols. It's easy. Want me to do it? Oh. All right, I'll give it a try. Godfrey, I presume? The one and only. <laughs> oh. This is it. Here, hold this, way. Sure. <clears throat> Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. Do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. It's in Sabean script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah. Exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. Get 
Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. Torch is going out. We gotta find a way out of here. Wait, up there. What? What? Give me, give me a hand. Jesus, the boys are coming from everywhere. Oh, kill him! Come on, damn it! Come on, we gotta go! Go! Nate, come on! Sorry, come on, come on! Jesus, the boys are coming from everywhere. Oh, kill him! Come on, damn it! Come on, we gotta go! Go! Nate! Come on! Sorry, come on, come on! Jesus! Why is that coming from everywhere? Oh, kill him! Come on! Come on, we gotta go! Go! Nate! Come on! Oh God, they're coming through the ceiling! Come on, run! You got this in the back! You're clear. Huh? Yeah. How about me? Turn around. Are oh, you good? You okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. <clears throat> okay. We gotta find a way out of here. See if I can find a way across. Watch yourself. I got it. Things gonna go. I know, I know. No. Like I planned. Now we gotta find a way down. Oh, hold on. Shh, shh, shh. <clears throat> Empty those cans. Every last drop. 
the hell are they doing? Burn the whole place down! Oh no. Sully, we gotta get out of here.
bastard! No, 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 no! Run up, bitch!
man. That was close, huh? You all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Just swell. Here, just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this. No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. Obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were oh, followed... shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. Sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlowe and Talbot think we're dead, we got the element of surprise. It's not wasted. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage-taken type. Let's just go with best-case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. <laughs> right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. Getting in through here. It's locked. Up this way. You check it out. I'll wait here. All right, sit tight. Come on up, Sully. It's clear. Help me with this door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know what's on the other side of that door. Ah, uh, yeah. Good point. <clears throat> I'll climb up and around. I'll let you in if it's safe. Shit. Already? 
ready? <sighs> Just what I needed. Come on, it's clear. The hell you been doing? Uh, the usual. Come on, help me with this. This way. We better hurry it up. Sully, over here.
I right, back up. Check it out. <laughs> Lower me down. Anything down there? Uh, give me a sec. I'll check it out. <laughs> Who's there? Back up, I'll shoot the lock.
Sully, help me out. This place is crawling with agents. Chloe and Cutter could be in real trouble. Where the hell could they be? you in France. We're rescuing you? From what? Uh, we thought you were captured. Or worse. Wait, why? Uh, well, uh, Talbot ambushed us at the chateau. It was a trap. Yeah, we figured they must have followed you too. Well, yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So we might want to think about keeping it down a little. Uh, what happened to you two? We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete ripoff. <laughs> what? Mine's broken. Again? Look. Just forget all that. You'll never guess what we've discovered. I've got it all in here. <laughs> Not only did Elizabeth's spy network stretch all the way over here, but they were all part of some sort of hermetic secret society. The British Occult Secret Service, the School of Night, the Hellfire Club, the Order of the Golden Dawn, they're all connected. So John Dee... And Francis Walsingham, and Walter Raleigh, and even your mate Drake, they were all in on it. But for them, it was all about the power. Controlling their enemies through espionage, deception, fear. Hey, guys. Wait, 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 wait. So Marlowe and her crew... Are the same secret order 400 years on. We cut to the goddamn chase, please. Yeah, we really need to keep moving. Sure, sure. Here, look. Quad est superius. Est secret quod est inferius. As above, so below. That's the key to all of this. We need to get to the highest point of this castle. <laughs> Thus, the stairs. Well done. We should be able to find our way into the crypts with this clue. The entrance has got to be hidden here someplace. There. That's the highest tower. Okay. So we just need to make our way Look across... Out. Oh, shit. Bollocks. Get down. Now what? All right. The only way to the tower is through them. Great. Whatever happened to that sneak-in, sneak-out plan? You what? We can't quit now. Yeah, not when we're so close. Come on, we'll find a way around them. <laughs> They're here. We just have to find them. Just wait till they get their hands on Cutter. <laughs> what about the other two? Now they're done. Talbot finished them up in France.
Who's there? What was that? There's an entrance at the base of the tower. Well, let's head to the top and see what we've got. Gate, perfect. Charlie, give me a hand with this. You through? Yep, clear. Got it. Alright, now. Come on, follow me. Up this way.
Up this way. Come on. Up here. Hey, keep us covered, all right? Yeah, we'll just hurry it up, lads, okay? Yeah, we're sitting ducks out here. See? 
As above, so below. We're definitely in the right spot. Yeah, yeah, but the right spot for what? Well, the Crusaders would have hidden the entrance to the crypt somewhere in plain sight. Wait a sec. Yeah, look. That same symbol appears on Drake's map. Right next to this. Of course, Ursa Minor, the North Star. The one fixed point in the night sky. So if we follow that down to the castle, what do you bet it points right to our hidden entrance? Can I see that? Yeah, yeah. I want it back, though. Use the scope, mate. I will, I will. If you're not going to use the scope, give it back. I'll find it. I'm going to use it. So, we've got to find the North Star. I found it. All right, now let's see if we can find that entrance. Should be directly below the North Star. There it is. Well, that's hidden in plain sight, all right. Um, guys! Yeah, just a minute. It can't be that simple, can it? Nate! Look out! Get down! <laughs> <laughs> Run for it! Ah, shit! Come on, you guys! Hurry it up! Keep moving! What the hell's wrong with these guys? They're destroyed! Yes, that's why. We can zip line across. No while they're firing at us, we can't! Don't give up!
now. Ready? Let's go! Right! It's all clear! Come on! Come on, Nate! Come on! Run! Come on! Go! Go! Okay? Yeah. Yeah, we'll find a way around and meet up with you. Watch out! <laughs> Crap! Hey, mate, look. They just came across the, the wall. What about Sully right and Chloe? They find them. They're fine. Look, 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 look. It's right there. We've got to check it out. No, I don't think that's a very end. He's gone. Great. Better do this quietly. Stay together. Hunt them down. <laughs> Who's that? Search the area. They're in here somewhere. No, no, no. 
in the open! Dead! Show yourself. Hunt him down. Shit. Over!
Come on, this way. You got it. <laughs> oh. This is a... Yes. Oh. I know it couldn't be that simple. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It, it wasn't a storage room a thousand years ago. No, 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 mate. We are missing something. Hey, hold on, hold on. The statues, you see? One hand up, one hand down. Yeah. Look, above, below. It's the same theme again and again. So, just another breadcrumb on the trail? Oh, it certainly looks that way. Let me see the scope again. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Hey, here's that symbol again. Yep, yeah, maybe it's not in the sky this time, but down below somewhere. It's got to be something down in the castle itself, then. Wait, yeah, there. Uh huh. As below, so above? Yeah. All right, so now move the scope upward. What do you see? So now, what's above that? So the next clue should be right above. So the next clue should be right above. What are you doing? It's up here! So now, what's above that? So the next clue should be right above. Yeah, those pillars. That's gotta be it. All right, let's get over there and check it out. Yeah, we'll meet up with Sully and Chloe on the way. They're over there! Shit! They spotted us! Come on, Charlie, we can't stay pinned down here! We gotta move! Oh, shit! Where did that come from? Hey, it's Sully!
the pillars from that tower. Come on. I'm gonna meet up with those guys. You two all right? Yeah, still in one piece anyway. Come on, I think we're onto something. Good to see you're all right. You too. Right. Here's the wall. Alright, the crypt entrance should be here someplace. Well, what does Lawrence have to say about it? He doesn't. <laughs> this is as far as he got. Well, what are our chances then? Symbolically, two pillars are used to mark a gateway. Swell. Which two? And a gateway to what? Well, another realm, a holy place, a place of initiation. Oh, doesn't that sound like fun? Maybe around the corner. Yeah, all right. No. Give it to me. Good. Now the journal. Thank you. Don't trust Drake. How's Charlie? Who knows? No, no, no. He's gone. How in the world? Hey, Charlie, you okay? Huh? Charlie? What the hell? <laughs> Look at this. Man, what kind of black ops bullshit is this? Let's just hope he didn't have a big dose. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Easy now. Look at me. Charlie, right here. Well, we gotta move now, okay? Just don't touch me. Get away from me. All right, all right. No one's touching you, Charlie. What the hell was in that dart? Your face is peeling off. Well, whatever it was, he's tripping balls. Charlie, listen. Hey, you're okay. Get up! I won't let you take me. Hey, nobody's taking you anywhere. Just, just come with us, okay? Yeah. Oh, no. The floor's melting. We can't stay here. We gotta move. How? Our only hope is to find the crypt entrance. Great. Any ideas? Well, Charlie was onto something. I just don't know what. The wand of the magician. Without his journal, we're never gonna find it. Just let me think. All right, uh, Hermetic. From the Greek, Hermes, meaning pillar. I think we got that part. The seven pillars of wisdom? Between mercy and severity. Wait. Wait, we've got no. this all wrong. <laughs> it isn't the space between the pillars. Yes. It's the middle pillar. Balance. What? It was in Charlie's Enough. book. The pillar of balance oh. between the two extremes. Between oh. black and white, water okay. and fire. Yes. Female yeah. and male, 
the middle way. The middle way. That's it. Sully, give me a hand with this. Come on. No, no, no. No, it's okay, Charlie. Come on, mate. The way up and the way down are one and the same. Uh huh. Here you go. This way. Looks like we'll have to squeeze through here. Oh. Right, you two go on ahead. I'll help Charlie. All right. Come on, buddy. You're okay. Where are you taking me? I'm just gonna get right through here, okay? Just why are you doing this? You're gonna be all right, buddy. Stop touching me! You're all right. Take it easy. Take it easy, Charlie. All right, we're through. Just go on. I've got him. We'll light the way for you. Come on, mate. We're almost there. I just can't. I just can't. Just... Oh, God. It's good. It's, no, it's, it's closing in. It's closing in. I just... I just stop. 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 I just... I can't. I can't. I can't breathe. I just... I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I've got to get out. I've got to get out. I've got to get out. Come down, all right? Oh, that's it. Oh, no, no, no. Charlie, go on. Come on, just one more. I won't let you! Do that. All right, you. I'm not gonna fight you. All right, you don't want to do that. Right, stop hitting me. Right, just don't, man. Up. Where 
breathing. <coughs> Hold on, this. You weren't. You weren't gonna shoot me, were you, mate? Like a rabid dog. Wow. Let's try this again. I'll go first this time. Ugh, shit. Now follow me. No, no, I'm not turning my back on you just yet. After you. Huh. Oh, great. Next thing I know, you'll be putting that gun to the back of my head telling me about the rabbits. <laughs> hey, play nice, boys. Yeah, come on. You're almost through. Come on, let's move it along. They'll be looking for us. Ooh. This thing should spin, doesn't it? This is more than just a crypt. Yeah, the whole damn room looks like some kind of ancient device. Where's my notebook? Who gave it to Talbot? Did you remember? What? Oh, yeah, your gun too. Oh, bollocks. All right, we need to figure out how to get it spinning. Look at this channel. It looks like they were meant for water. Found a stairway. See anything up there? Hey, I bet we can light these. They look like some kind of projections. They're marking positions on the globe. Let's get the other ones lit. Don't line up with anything now. Let's keep looking. Hey, hey. Is that the water? I'm not sure. Please tell me that you see them too. Oh, yeah, I see them. Whatever you do, don't let them touch you. Really? Just stay in the firelight. What are you doing? You should be able to make it over to that brazier if I run for it. You won't. I'll clear the way for you once I get there. If you get there, you're mental. We have to get the water flowing. You have a better idea? If you throw the torch down there, you might be able to light the brazier. Like there's another brazier up there. Think you could throw the torch up there and light that thing?
throw the torch down there. You might be able to light the brazier. Looks like there's another brazier up there. Think you can throw the torch up there and light that thing? Like there's another brazier up there. I think you can throw the torch up there and light that. Like there's another brazier up there. Think you can throw the torch up there and light that thing? <laughs> Another one, try again. Thrust. Another brace here down there. 
have to light that last brace before we jump out. Let's give it a go. There we go. Don't tell me we have to swim across. What's the matter, Charlie? Oh, kitty don't like getting wet. I hate getting wet. Don't be such a sissy. Okay, one more. All right, let's do this again. It worked. It started to spin. We can rotate the cloak. Huh? Well, we're getting somewhere. Hey, it looks like those light projections might line up with the land masses. Go on, give it a spin.
inner crypts. Come on. Here we go. All right, we're looking for a knight's tomb, just like we found in France. Now, if my hunch is right, he'll be buried with the other half of our amulet. Is that it? Yeah, just like the one in France. Amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Let's get it open. There it is. What did I tell you? Let's see the other half. Yeah, about that. Uh, Talbot has it. What? I, yeah, I told you how he ambushed us at the chateau. That's when he took it. Well, why did we even bother then? Hold on. Give me a little credit. There. You see? <laughs> and with the inscription complete, we know exactly where to go in Yemen. Thank you very much. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah. All the same. I think I'll hold on to this one. <laughs> all right. Let's get the hell out of here. Keep looking. They have to be here Shit. somewhere. They must have followed us. We better hope there's another way out of here. There's a draft over here. Come here. Yeah, yeah, I can feel the breeze. Awesome. Please be an outside wall. It's got some give. Charlie, help me with this. Yeah. Guys, we don't have much time. Come on, go! <clears throat> Thanks very much. I'll take that. Drop your weapons. Yeah, I don't think so. Well then, what a dilemma. We seem to be equally matched. Until the rest of my men show up, that is. We can wait. Oh no. Guys? Charlie? Oh, god damn it. Oh, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? Now drop your guns. Why don't you go cut a shoot him? No. Wait. Just 
Stop. Okay? Now that's better, isn't it? Shoot him. You son of a bitch. Cutter, pull the trigger. My pleasure. Run! Head for the tower! Go, go! Might have given us a wink or something. Shit. Come on, Cutter. You can't make it. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Charlie. What the hell? You didn't get very far, did you? Hand it over. Piss off. There's nothing we can do, kid. Jesus, this is unbearable. Uh. <laughs> oh, Carter. I had such high hopes for you. <laughs> Yeah, right. It's true. You had potential. Now, well, it's funny how things work out, isn't it? You betray my trust, and now we find ourselves here. As if it were in the cards all along. Just my leg. Don't touch it! It's broken! I know it's broken. Just easy does it, Nate. Hang on. Nate, look at this. Oh, what the hell? This way! Okay, we can't stay here. Just leave me the gun. I'll kill those bastards. No way. We're getting you out of here. Come on. Get up. I got him. You, got him? you cover us. Okay. Go! How is that possible? I shot him right in that disgusting Nancy <laughs> boy. Well, we need to get him to a doctor. Let's get the hell out of here.
Okay, come on, guys. Sorry, Charlie. Whew. Look out! There's more of them! Oh, crap! We gotta get the hell out of here. Right, come on. Just a little further. No, no. Oh, that shitting bastard oh, leg. Uh, okay, okay. The bus. We're taking the bus. Well, that won't attract any attention. Morning. Not worth the price of admission, folks. Here we go. One, two, two, and a point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Right here. All right. I got this. You take care of him. Uh, here they come. Sully, get us out of here. Looks like we lost him. All right. I'll find some place to ditch the bus. Great. You doing all right? Oh, fabulous. <laughs> that was too close. He'll be okay. No, I mean the whole thing. It just isn't worth it, Nate. Let this one go. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just give up. If you let these bastards win, after this, I will never bloody forgive you. Don't you worry, Charlie. There's no way I'm letting them win. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. Right. So what's the plan, kid? Uh, I guess I'm going to Yemen. You up for it? <laughs> of course I am. All right, we gotta find a quick way in. No hassles. I might know someone we could call. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You got a better idea, I'm all ears. What about... No. Fine. Make the call.
Elena Fisher, foreign correspondent. <laughs> hey, Sully. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, no. Sorry, that's sort of frowned upon here. Oh, right. You two can hold hands, though. <laughs> How are you, Elena? Good, thanks. You, uh, you look great. So, against my better judgment, these permits will get you through most checkpoints. Okay, great. Oh, and I shouldn't be worried about what's in those bags, right? <laughs> Of course not. No. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right. Remember, you're journalists now. So try and act respectable. Think you can handle that? I think she's talking to you. <laughs> so what exactly are you two reprobates up to? Uh, it's just a little historical research. Right. So that explains the big rush? Exactly. No cursed treasures? Nope. No diabolical warlords? No. You are the worst liar. What? You are. Oh, come on. We're not going to start Excuse this, me. are we? Just... The car, where is it? Oh, it's over there. I'll just take the bags and meet you. Mate. You're still wearing it. I, yeah, I am. <laughs> it helps in this part of the world. Oh, really? Seriously? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> I see you're still wearing yours. What? Oh, oh, yeah. That's what this is all about, isn't it? You don't understand. I finally proved it. Drake lied about his route through the East Indies. 400 years ago, he came here. Why, Nate? That's what we're here to find out. No, I mean, why this obsession? I'm, I'm just worried. I can take care of myself, all right? I'm not talking about you. What, Sully? He would go to the ends of the earth for you, Nate. Just don't ask him to. Come on, that's not fair. What is that even supposed to mean? What's that? Yeah. If you could just drop us at the edge of the city, that'd be great. Not a chance. You two are my responsibility now. I'm not taking my eyes off of you. <laughs> 